Hey guys, what's going on, Nick? The Mad Kiger here. I'm here today with part 11 of the PlayStation 2 collection. Um, it's been a while. I apologize for the uh, lack um, and uh, the lateness of this series and uh, the fact that now 2019, uh, not 2018, but um, unfortunately, uh, that sort of stuff's gonna happen, unfortunately. So, uh, just pretend it's still 2018, <laughs> I guess. Um, and it is, as you can see, the last part. Um, I might do a sort of roundup video uh, next uh, and uh, talk about um, talk about uh, just the PlayStation 2 in general in ASMR. Um, or something like that, I, I don't know. Um, just so then it's uh, 12 parts, not 11, and it's a nice even number. But uh, with that being said, uh, um, keep this intro nice and short and get straight into it. Up first, we have 25 to life. Um, I've heard good things about this game, sort of a uh, you know, gang. Warfare style game or something, you know, action like a uh, 50 cent style game or something like that. I think it's a semi open world. Let me have 24 the game. Never watched a TV show and I've uh, never played the game. Let me have 2006 FIFA World Cup Germany. Um, I actually played this quite a bit on the Xbox 360. Uh, it was one of the um, games I got when we got the Xbox 360, we got this and um, Gears of War, I remember it quite well. Uh, 2002, FIFA World Cup, Korea, Japan, yeah, another soccer game, uh, football, should I say. 1945, one and two of the arcade games, two great shooters here. Uh, really fun um, variant of uh, 1945. Um, yeah, I really like some uh, shooters. I love 1945. 187, Ride or Die. Sort of a, a vehicle combat game, you know, driving cars and uh, shooting people and things. Uh, definitely uh, looks, excuse me, interesting. Then we have American Pro Trucker 18 Wheeler. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I played this game. It's a uh, really challenging. Oh, excuse me. 007 Quantum of Solace. Um, not too bad. Uh, not a good one. Not the best 007 game, but it's, it's not too bad. It's it's basically uh, Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale in one game. 007 Agent Under Fire. Um, the multiplayer for this is fun. Um, played a little bit of the single player on GameCube. Uh, on the, my Wii Cube actually, tell a lie. Then we have um, one of my favourite uh, animes that I like. It. I really do like uh, dot hack this is a uh, dot hack part one infection uh, there's four parts uh, in America you guys got um, the GU games which got a HD remaster on the PlayStation 4 um, I used to have it but I sold it so I need to get it back um, but uh, yeah this is based on uh, an anime and it comes with a bonus DVD disc dot hack uh, Limality, which I have watched, and it's basically a, um, a the anime is basically like a, a video game, kind of like a Sword Art Online or something like that. And uh, uh, the video game is sort of like an RPG, JRPG, and stuff. And uh, the anime is not too bad. I I, I do enjoy the anime. But yeah. There's four parts. Um, one is the cheapest. The second one is about twenty, thirty pounds, and then three and four you're looking at about seventy to one hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, quite expensive uh, series, unfortunately. But never mind. 
then we have Arcade Classics Volume 1. Just a budget title here with some um, rip-offs of, uh, you know, popular games, but uh, they're not real versions, so. Then we have Ark Twilight of the Spirits. Um, Sony branded RPG. Um, I played a little bit of this. It's, it's not too bad. Um, I don't really play a lot of uh, JRPGs and things. I just don't find them that. Uh, I just don't have enough time. These uh, JRPGs just take so much time. Um, you know, it's it's a long process. <sighs> Yeah, JRPGs are really um, long games, and um, this one's not too bad. It's, I played about maybe an hour or so of it, so or maybe a couple of hours, so I'm going to have to go back and play it one day. And then we have Aquatine Hunger Force Zim Zombie Ninja Pro Aim. Uh, it's basically, uh, it's, yeah. It's based on the Aqua Teen Hunger Force, which I need to watch this show because it seems like a show I'd probably enjoy. But uh, the video game is basically, it's a golf game, it's a racing game, and it's an action game. It's something uh, different, to say the least. <laughs> then we have Ape Escape 2. Um, yeah, one of the classics on the PlayStation 1 and 2. Um... I think I played the demo of this when I was a kid, and yeah, it's, um, it seemed like a game I could really uh, get into. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have Ants Extreme Racing. Uh, this is the only uh, video game we got based on the movie Ants. I love the movie. Um, the video game I hear is uh, absolutely one of the worst racing games you'll ever play, I hear. So, unfortunately. Then we have And One Street Ball, and it, you can enhance it with your eye toy. Ubisoft branded title. Yeah, basketball street game. Then we have American Chopper. There's two of these, I don't have the second one. But uh, yeah, it's based on the, the TV show, I believe there's a TV show for this. Never watched a TV show, I think it's all about, you know, chopper bikes and things, so... Not really uh, interest me that much. Then we have America's 10 Most Wanted. Uh, another extremely terrible uh, first person shooter. I've heard uh, bad things about this game. Stay away. ATV Off Road Fury 2. Uh, not a bad game. Pretty fun. Um, pretty fun. Um, you know, ATV game. I, I need to play some more racing games. I really do. Athens 2004. Um, Olympic games can be quite fun if you've got people to play them with. Uh, the only issue I have with this game is the low times are a little bit on the longer side. But still, what do you expect? PlayStation 2. Atari Anthology. If you're a fan of... The Atari 2600, definitely, I guess, disc 67, Atari 2600 games, and 18 classic arcade games. Fantastic, 85 games that uh, you can get. And, uh, yeah, you got to love some Atari. Uh, I, I don't really play many Atari games. They're, they're too old <laughs> for me. Um, they, they are what they are, you know. Atari is uh, is as old as it comes. It's classic. Um, you've got to love Atari. But uh, at the same time, you know, uh, there comes a point where in video games. Everyone has a sort of, uh, where, you know, the video games that they sort of go, you know what, it's not for me. Uh, and uh, for me personally, it's, it's these sort of old and PC games that I, I don't really um, like that much. I can't really get into, but you know, you can have some fun with, um, you know, classics like uh, Millipede and uh, Yard's Revenge. At the Races presents Gallop Racer, one of the many horse bedding. Uh, racing games and things, so yeah, really has a role. 
then we have Arthur and the Invisibles, uh, based on the movie. Then we have one of my favorite um, series as a kid, the Army Men series. Uh, you know, I used to love playing with uh, plastic Army Men toys as a kid, and uh, yeah, we got loads of these on the PlayStation. Uh, Salge's War. This is a, a bit more of a, a modern, modernized version of the game. So yeah, classic. These games, uh, they're not gonna win any awards or anything, but. Uh, they got nostalgia written all over it for me. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes 2. Ooh. Again, much of the same, but still, love those games. Then we have one of my favorite games as a kid, the Backyard Wrestling Games 1 and 2. Never played 2, but uh, had a really fun time with this game. As a kid, it's, it's, it's a fun action fighting game. Similar, I wouldn't really call it wrestling, it's more of a fighting game, but uh, yeah, these are really fun games. Quite violent and things. I think it's based on a, a, a real, uh, like a real show that used to be on, but people used to do, but uh, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't try it at home. Babe. Yep, another terrible game made by Blast. Avatar, The Legend of Aang, The Burning Earth. Uh, never watched a TV show, Avatar. It's one of the shows that I really didn't watch as a kid. I weren't really into, like, you know, anime and action stuff as a kid. I was more into, you know, Ed and Nettie and things, so didn't really, uh, you know, didn't really watch this. But the games I hear are <laughs> hit and miss. Auto Modelista. Uh, a game that I hear, it's one of these games that I hear um, deserve to be much better than what it was. Uh, it's a cell shaded graphic game. Uh, apparently, this game could have been uh, fantastic, but uh, it's just quite average in some people's eyes. ATV Off Road Fury 3. Yep. There's three of them. I don't know. I think the first one's on uh, PlayStation 1, I think. Age of Empires 2. Um, the Age of Kings. Uh, PC exclusive series. Um, but there uh, we got a, the second game on PlayStation 2. A classic, um, classic series. Strategy and things. Then we have AFL Live 2, uh, 2004. It's basically uh, Australian football. Um, never don't know how you play AFL, but it's basically like a mix between uh, football and rugby, I'm guessing. Ace Combat Squadron League. Uh, there's a new one coming out. Um, don't really, um, never really got into these sort of games. I don't really like uh, flight games that much. Um, I don't know, maybe one day I'll have to give it a go and see if I enjoy it or not. Another one of the adult games that PlayStation happened to have, Seven Sins. Yeah, what more can you say? Seven Blades. Uh, I think it's sort of a hack and slash uh, action game. 4x4 four four EVO, uh, average racing game with uh, Jeeps, 50 cent bulletproof, surprisingly uh, a really good game despite being based on a, a you know hip hop artist, 50 cent, but he actually had some pretty fun games, if you can believe that. Alvin and the Chipmunks, again just a rhythm game like a you know like a guitar hero or something with Alvin and the Chipmunks at least it's not a you know at least they went with just the music not a, a shitty platformer game Alone in the Dark A New Nightmare um, this, this series sort of died off unfortunately um, these games were quite popular back in the day and uh, quite scary but uh, unfortunately they uh, 
just died off and it we didn't really get anything new in the alone in the dark oh star baseball 2002 not a not many baseball games we got in the uk but here's one alias based on the tv show starring uh, jennifer garner i think it is um yeah Jennifer Garner. Never watched the show, but it's, you know, spies and things like that, so. Airblade. Um, I want to like this game so much, but uh, I just can't get into it. It's, it's a fun game, but I'm just not very good at it. I remember playing the demo as a kid, though. Aggressive Inline. Uh, again, another sort of Tony Hawk-style game, but rollerblades. Canis Canum edit. It's basically a bully. Uh, this is bully before um, it got remade on the Xbox 360. Um, this game is uh, absolutely fantastic. It's uh, one of Rockstar's uh, best work. It's most underrated uh, Rockstar game in my opinion. Um, we there is uh, rumors going around that uh, Bully 2 is going to be Rockstar's next project. Um, I certainly hope so. I would look look forward to that. Then we have the Call of Duty series. Got on. Oh, Finest Hour, Big Red One, Three, and Final Fronts, World of War. Um, this is not the original Call of Duty. This is a exclusive um, to the consoles. The original. Um, classic was only on PC and then they released it digital for the Xbox 360 and that uh, big red one again is a different uh, there is a different Call of Duty 2 on Xbox 360 but this is a its own one uh, Call of Duty 3 was the same game on every system and uh, Final Fronts is uh, again a different uh, variant of uh, World at War it's, it's basically a world at war, but uh, without the uh, zombies and things, so it's not not too bad, but um, it, it's not, uh, I wouldn't say it's, uh, I don't know, I've played them all and completed them all. I love the World War II Call of Duty games, um, unfortunately Call of Duty has just gone off in a terrible tangent and I really don't care for this series anymore. Cabela's Big Game Hunter, 2005. One of the many hunting games out there. I really don't see why there's so many. A couple of buzz games, the big quiz and the music quiz. Uh, these are just basically party games where you have like buzzers and things. So quite a few of them out there. I do have the buzzers. Just quiz games. But Ugly Martians, Zoom or Doom. Uh, average racing game based on the but ugly Martians Buster block kind of like um, you know like an Arkanoid or this game or something like a breakout style game burnout dominator um, burnout series is very high renowned and uh, a lot of people love the burnout series really good series Army Men Real Time Strategy, uh, surprisingly not too bad, really. Um, strategy game with the Army Men, it's not too bad actually. Major Malfunction, unfortunately this one is uh, pretty bad, unfortunately. I don't like it that much. Army Men Green Rogue, this is basically like an on rails uh, shooter almost, and uh, yeah, it's I remember I had this game as a kid, didn't really play it, uh, get very far in it, it's quite a challenging game. <laughs> Army Men, Air Attack, Blade Revenge. Uh, these ones are actually pretty fun, I won't lie. <laughs> Helicopter themed game, a couple of armoured core games here, two and two another age, um, I, I don't really like these games, um, I'm, I'm not that 
keen on mech games in general. Um, I don't know why. I like uh, Gundam games, but uh, you know, Armor Core and things I'm not, not that um, interested in. <laughs> Area 51. Really, really good game, actually. Uh, highly recommend it. Really fun. Really good game. Arctic Thunder. Again, another fun arcade uh, snowmobile racing game. Then we have the original trilogy of Burnout, 1, 2, and 3. Um, these two are often referred to as the best in the series because of uh, Crash Mode. The original is a uh, hidden miss, it's not too bad, but uh, it's quite a challenging game. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Chaos Bleeds. I've never really watched the show, so... Then we have Brothers in Harms, Road to Hill 30, and Earned in Blood. Um, the Brothers in Harms series are pretty fun, tactical uh, shooters. Uh, this one has some um, co-op modes and things, so... Yeah, these are pretty fun, different uh, sort of World War II shooters. Breath of Fire, Dragon Quarter. Um, I thought I don't think this was as as popular as the originals on the PlayStation One. Brave, the search for the spirit dancer. Um, I don't. I think it's based on a TV show. Might be wrong. Bratz diamonds or forever diamonds. Yeah, really. Uh, looking forward to playing this, of course. <laughs> Boxing Champions, another boxing game, you've seen them all, and Boogie, you can use the Sing Star microphone for this, it's basically a, a singing game, and a dancing game, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, one of the worst first person shooters on Playstation 2. <laughs> Ben 10, Protector of Earth. Never really uh, got into Ben 10 as a kid. But the games, some of the games are actually not too bad. Just fun action beat em ups. Uh, BCV, Battle Construction Vehicles. This is a, a fighting game with construction vehicles. It, it's something else. I will say. Never played it though. Battlestar Galactica. I believe this is the only uh, Battlestar Galactica game we got on PlayStation 2. Flight game. Battlefield 2. Modern Combat. Back in the day of Battlefield. And now we're on Battlefield 5. And uh, yeah, we, we know what happened with that. Battle Engine Aquila, another sort of mech game, I think. 10p that cost me. Uh, Batman Vengeance, mm, not that good of a game. This one is, I wouldn't bother with this one. Uh, Batman Rise of Shinzu, uh, this one is a bit more on the playable side. It's more of a beat em up, and you can, you know co-op and stuff so you can play with uh, different characters and stuff so yeah this one seems more enjoyable Batman Begins based on the movie uh, this game some people say it's good some people say it's bad it's really down to personal preference Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance another sort of classic uh, sort of style uh, Hack and Slash, um, Rogue, uh, like game. Bad Boys 2, based on the movie. How good it is, I don't know. Bomberman Hardball, it's a uh, Bomberman with uh, some party modes on the, you know, sports and things, but you get the, the classic version on there as well. BMX, Triple X, uh, BMX game with um, nudity, yeah, 
It's uh, something else. Blood Rain 2. Oh, no, it's the first one. Yeah, I, I think these games are actually pretty decent. Blood Omen 2. I remember this game. Pretty fun. Vampire game. Blade 2. Uh, say what you want about the movies, but uh, the game isn't too bad, actually, so I would recommend it. Black Market Bowling. Again, another bowling game. Black. Really, really popular game. It's, it's pretty decent. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is when you reload, the uh, screen goes all fuzzy. It's really weird. And then the last ones we have Birmingham Club Football 2005. Bionicle Heroes, uh, this is actually a pretty fun game, Bionicle, and last but not least we have Big Mother Truckers to truck me harder, so there we have it, the PlayStation 2 collection, <sighs> it's uh, always nice to take a look at uh, the collections and uh, yeah, the PlayStation 2 just uh, gets bigger and better every time. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to uh, complete the collection, but uh, maybe one day. But uh, I think I'm going to I'll do a video on this about PlayStation 2 and talk about it in ASMR at some point. Sorry if it's not too ASMR today. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and of course comment below let me know what you think of the playstation 2 let me know if there's any games here that you want me to uh, talk and play perhaps in videos and as always have a nice uh, subscribe if you haven't already have a nice day and i will see you in the next video take care and bye bye